All right, welcome. Uh, it's an exciting time of the year for you know, YSU men's basketball. Uh, this is uh, my favorite time. Uh, we're really excited about our upcoming season. Uh, I'm excited about this group. Uh, I think there's a couple of, of things that, uh, that bring a uniqueness to our group this year that we have not had in the past, and that's size. Uh, we have some, uh, we ha we're long and, uh, uh, and have some good height in terms of how we're going to be able to play this year, and that's exciting. I think the second thing that's exciting for me is our ability to shoot the basketball. We really can put five guys on the floor in multiple positions uh, across the board where we shoot the ball very, very well. Um, I'm excited too about our basketball IQ. I think this is a, uh, a major step uh, forward in terms of having uh, guys that understand you know, a little bit in terms of how to play and the rhythm of how to play. Uh, so we're excited. It's a very, very challenging schedule. Um, you know, we start off our year at Kent and then Toledo and then, you know, we finish off our first semester with uh, uh, Michigan, you know, Purdue and Notre Dame. So uh, there's a lot of good basketball ahead of us. Uh, I think one of the major changes for our year is, is happened at our league level. Uh, this year's tournament is going to be at, at one site. Um, I believe the, the uh, name for it is Motor City Madness. The whole tournament has made a commitment uh, for four years to go to uh, Detroit. Uh, the Olympia Group is, uh, is hosting the tournament in terms of uh, promoting it and uh, you know, having it there. So we're very, very excited to be able to go to one site. Uh, they're doing a tremendous job with it and it really uh, is a positive in terms of our in terms of our league, I'm going to have the guys introduce themselves. Uh, they're going to give you their name and where they're from, and then I'll take any questions. Hold on, step forward. Get your hands out of your pocket. Speak up so they know who you're from. Right there, Lady Michigan. Blue Raider from San Antonio, Texas. Cameron Morris, Glenn Michigan. Devin Hager, Chris Lane, Michigan. Jordan Coffman, End of Kansas. Uh, Brett France, Lawrence, Kansas. Bobby Hain, Jupiter, Florida. Matt Dahmer, Sacramento, California. Francisco Santiago, Cleveland, Ohio. Ryan Scholler, Youngstown, Ohio. Tyler Morford, Pittsburgh, PA. Jordan Andrews, New Orleans, Louisiana. And our staff, Matt Lynch. Assistant Stu Robinson, Indiana. Captain Rosenau, assistant coach, Grand Rapids, Michigan. Michael Wernicke, assistant coach, Erie, Pennsylvania. Um, that's our group, a group that uh, we've had a really good uh, summer and uh, preseason. One of the real positive things about uh, this year so far with so many new faces is that we took a foreign tour um, where we went on the road to play three games in, in uh, six days and that was invaluable for us. It kind of showed us uh, kind of you know what we have, what our strengths is, what we needed to work on. It was really 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 a positive experience for us and it's kind of pro really propelled us into a really positive fall in terms of work habits and working with a purpose. So questions? So, so many new faces this year. Uh, I know you say you're really excited about sort of teaching aspect of that and this is a pleasant surprise for you, but is this the most challenging year you've had here considering how much you have to play from a scoring standpoint? How many new guys in this program? Um, I, I wouldn't say challenging as much as I, I would say enjoyable. Um, and, and when any time that you have changes, it, you know, that change can be uh, a, a challenge or it can be a blessing. And I think that this group's ability to play, the ability to shoot, the fact that we're bigger than we've ever been. Uh, again, I, you know, I'm going to reference back a little bit to, you know, to our foreign tour. The fact that we were able to have 10 solid days of practice in the summertime, uh, the fact to, that uh, some of our young guys really performed well down there under some really tough circumstances of, you know, physical play, you know, bad officiating, uh, I thought our backcourt handed well. I think our big guys, all of them played, you know, played a lot and played well. I think we really got a snapshot 
of what we can be. Now, I'll be honest with you, you know, your probably question has a little bit more purpose if we didn't have our summer trip that allowed us to be able to see, what, you know, what we have. And I think there wasn't a person within our program or on our staff that didn't come off of that trip with a certain level of excitement, you know, for our year, rather than, you know, maybe a little trepidation for it. Both. I think it was, you know, uh, as a basketball coach, you know, you probably would say it's, you know, 70, 30 practice. You get a chance to spend some time with a new group in the summertime. Uh, but I would, you know, I would kind of probably put it out at 60, 40, 60 percent that you got a chance to, you know, to practice, but 40 percent that you had your guys under fire. You know, we won a real close game by four. We lost a close game by three. And then we had a game that we won, you know, by against a poor team. You know, we won by like 50. So it was really, really good for us to play back to back to back. You know, it's like to be in a different environment to see how we handled it. And uh, I was, you know, I was pretty proud of our guys and how we did that. Mike, it's good to see you in your Penguins too. I, well, somebody, Jamie, get him a Youngstown State shirt, would you? Well, you know, again, I, I don't think we're going to have to come down in the last four minutes of a basketball game and rely on, on uh, you know, 18, 19 foot jump shots like we've had in the last, you know, four years. We're, we're, go we're going to clearly be able to play in the post, and then we're going to be able to clearly play it from the post out to our perimeter. Uh, every, you know, every one of our guys, you know, really passes the ball, you know, well out of our post position. Uh, and there's some that are learning how to do that more. I'm sure that'll get a smile from back here. Here we go. Uh, but uh, I, think it's, I think we have the, really the ability, you know, to attack the glass a little bit better, to be longer at the defensive end. Um, you know, I'm, you know, we're in uncharted territories around here. There'll be times on the floor that we'll have, you know, a seven footer, a 6'11", a 6'8 guy, you know, with our guards both at like a 6'2", 6'3", maybe in that spot. We've never been able to do that. Who's that? Uh, play a lot. Um, obviously, you know, you know, Jordan at at his size at seven foot is a, I think, is a unique kind of a guy because he's so good at the offensive end. He's really good in, in terms of being able to shoot the ball, and uh, you know, through our summer tour and, and I think through our early se season practice, I'm I'm not sure, you know, we have a better shooter than what than what Matt is. So Donlin, so. You know, we're really, really, you know, encouraged with those guys. Coach, you mentioned Detroit in the tournament. What is the advantage to having one site? I can see some of them, but, you know, the possibility of not having a home site for the playoffs, does that consistency outweigh the luxury of I, I think there's a, I think there's, do we have a half hour? Uh, <laughs> um, you know, I think it's a tournament. I think it's a Horizon League tournament savior um, because it's going to put it on a neutral floor. It, it, the, the way the tournament format has always been, it's always favored the one and two seed. I mean, it's always been heavily favored on those on those. Whether way with the day to do a double buy. Now it allows at least to be playing on a neutral site. The second thing that it allows is it puts the it puts the tournament in the hands of people that do it for a living. The Olympia Group uh, oversees the promotion for everything out of the Joe Lewis Arena. It takes care of the Chicago Red Wings. In two years, they're going to be in a new facility uh, that they say is going to be one of the best facilities in America in terms of the, the newness of it, the technology of it. You know, they've, they're, they're willing to step up and, and give, you know, there's, there's 35 or 40 people working every day on Horizon Link Tournament. We've never had a corporate sponsor. So for us to all be able to go to one site, have a big convention center, Horizon League tournament, to be able to sell that format, and then to sell it to our people that there's a destination that you can go, um, I think, you know, I think in two years and three years, I, I think you're gonna see this some, be something off the charts great for our league.
Well, I, you know, I mean, I, again, I, you know, people can talk about Detroit or the Phil's, you know, or the, the city itself. I think it, there's a, 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 a real renaissance going on there with what they've done with the new baseball facility, the new, the new arena that's going in downtown with, you know, all the new construction that is going there. But here, here's, the, here's the big thing is that, is that they wanted it. You want to go where you're wanted. You know, you want to be a part of something that uh, people, you know, are excited about you. And to have a group like that that has a proven track record, you know, their goal is for the championship game to have between 8,000 and 10,000 people there. And, you know, their feeling is they can sell it. They can sell it to the community. They can sell it to the town. For example, when we go play Oakland and Detroit, our guys are going to be going to local schools. We're going to be doing something in uh, some high school assemblies. And we're going to be, there's a lot of things that are going to be, that are going to be a positive for that. And, you know, frankly, I think, you know, because they want it so badly, I think Detroit's a perfect location for it. You know, Bob, you know, Bobby's had a great three years here, and we're looking for great things for him from his senior year. I think he's very capable of averaging a double-double. I think that uh, I think he's the un most unique big man in our league with the fact that he can score around the basket, he can step away from the basket, he can make threes. Uh, I, there's going to be somewhat of a learning curve for him because he is going to be in a new position. Um, we've got guys like Jordan and Sid and Bryce that are really going to be positive factors in the post for us. And uh, we, you know, Bobby's really going to be able to step off a little bit more than he's ever had. And uh, I, you know, for us to go where we want to go, Bobby's got to have a, you know, has to have a great year. Well, I mean, I, I think as a, as a whole, you know, the fact that we're, you know, freshman, sophomore, uh, you know, another sophomore in the backcourt, you know, that's a point of concern. There's no doubt about that. Um, I'm going to go back to, you know, the summer tour thing again. Uh, if, if anything really, really good came out of it, out of that trip, with as much pressure and as physicality of the game and how much people pressed us, if anything that came out of that tournament positively was that our back, that our backcourt's pretty good. Um, our, you know, our, our, our two point guards really performed well down there. I'm not going to say that it wasn't a learning curve, but uh, uh, those guys are pretty confident guys. They, they're, they're guys that I have a lot of confidence in. And um, I, I mean, I, I think we're going to be, I think we're going to be, you know, really good in the backcourt.